This is what she looks like in the winter. There is no people or any sign of life other than me up here. This is all shut down. It's just me. <laughs> A little bit daft coming up on my own. Isn't it? It makes you feel alive. Yes, look at that. Look at this. Welcome to the top of the mountain, Keith. So peaceful. There we have it. I'm going to work my way back down now. Good morning. Gracias. Nice. Just checking out my hotel in Salamanca. It was hotter than hell in there. <sighs> Keith's been out here all night, strapped to the lamppost because they wanted to charge 10 quid to park. Little bit crab. Let's get this boy warmed up. Good morning, Keith. Right, today we've got a hotel booked in Ojedo. So, today should be familiar. Let me just come forward a bit so I can. There we go. Oh dear, it's starting to rain a lot. Oh dear. Yeah, it's going to be a wet day today, but who cares? On the road for just before 9 o'clock. Should be a steady day, really. About 200 odd miles to go. Oh, I didn't do much last night in uh, Salamanca. But I did have a walk round into the square and everything, it was stunning. Stunning, just as Toledo is. It's absolutely stunning at night. Treating myself to a very nice meal at a very nice restaurant. It consisted of, um, I think it was like a triple chicken, triple chicken burger with mayonnaise, and there were like fries with it, and there were also like chicken nuggets. And uh, it was from a place called uh, McDonald's. <laughs> It cost me 11 quid. I thought, it's either 11 quid for McDonald's, get full, because I don't need much anyway, or pay 50 quid for a little bit of arty farty stuff and be, uh, yeah, 40 quid out of pocket. So I went for the cheap option. Getting towards the end of the tour now, so we're on dregs. Be water for the rest of the trip. Come on then, let's have you. Oh, I was gutted about yesterday. It was an amazing, but believe me, it was an amazing day's ride yesterday. And I would chat in, full, full on vlog day, it was brilliant. Full on day. High mountain passes in, in the thick cloud where I couldn't see a thing. Have a look at some of these photos. It was brilliant, it was nerve wracking, it was that, um, that steep. Got here last night, and the camera had decided to stop recording about an hour after I started recording, which uh, didn't quite make it into the mountain passes. Although the camera was saying tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, filming away nicely. No, let's hope that today does what it says it's going to do. And if it stops after an hour today, <laughs> you get at least you get to see the morning traffic in Salamanca. Yeah, it's a very, very lovely city. Famed for it's uh, one of the oldest, if not the oldest, university in Europe. And it's stunning as well. Everything's like all built out of sandstone in the square there. And it's just really, really beautiful. So today, we're going to get a chance to ride the rusty road to Cane, I think. Depends what time we get there in the area and what the weather's like. But yeah, we'll, we will be on familiar ground this afternoon. Oh, tractors are causing chaos last night. And yesterday when I arrived, 
Again, of course, if the camera would have worked, you would have seen all that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Tractors everywhere! <laughs> I wonder if this is going to cause me grief tomorrow. Let's have a look. Crazy, there's more coming. Police everywhere too. Seems to be very peaceful, there's no issues, but they're doing a thing. I've got some cakes for when I get back. Cakes! Two hundred and seventeen miles to go, nearly six hours, and this will take us in on the N six two one. So it's the Bear Road and the Stag Road for those that have been to Picos or seen any of my Picos stuff. So I will become familiar at some point this afternoon, or even some point this morning. Let's see, eh? Yeah, I think it's going to be uh, wet all day today. In fact, let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, wet all day. Cold and wet. It's getting warmer as we're getting closer though. Thank you. The Africa Twin and the Zumo XT have been absolutely amazing companions on this trip. Really. I really love this uh, Garmin unit. Love it. Oh, look what's just come on. Yours truly, you can see the dust and sand on Keith now, look. Now it's starting to get a bit mucky and damp and wet. <laughs> We've been to the bloody Sahara, pal. We've been to the bloody Sahara. <laughs> Careful this lot, isn't it? We're gaining some altitude. Back in the clouds again up here. Careful with the rock fall here. Be careful with these wet roads and uh, steep switchbacks. Oh, that's lovely, this is. It's nice to see all the trees looking totally different. I've only ever been here from uh, June and then. September, October. Never been this time of year before. So yeah, it is nice to see it looking a little bit different. LE233, just south of Riano. Riano, should I say. Ah <laughs> yes, we have been on this one before. <laughs> this is where last year's trip guys that were on last year's trip when we were sat waiting for the horses for ages on this road the horses in front of us I'm obviously coming down it now so it looks totally different we were sat down there for ages in the baking sun while some guys were walking some horses up and they went up there 
Yeah, we crawled up here because we didn't want to get too close to the horses to scare them. There were two guys in a, in a truck and quite a few horses, and they were, they were like shepherding them all up here. There were, there were loads. So we just had to sit and take pictures and wait patiently. It's surprising, isn't it, when you're not used to places and you do it a, a, the opposite direction and it's completely different. And obviously it looks totally different up there at the moment because it's um, under cloud. Whereas when we did it last, it was 30 odd degrees. Hottest I've known it last year actually when we came. It's nice to be here by myself for the first time ever. After all these times we've been, I've always had a group. It's nice to be here by myself for a change. I am literally by myself, aren't I? Must remember to prep my ferry bag tonight. I want to make sure I've got my heated socks out, ready for the journey on the other side of the water. But we're taking a left in a minute onto the 215, LE215, and then up to the uh, 621. <laughs> it's a good road that is, I like it. Have to call for a photo at the bear and the stag hunter. So that's tradition. I know we've got a nice little drive on something a couple of hours in the morning to the ferry. But it's nice being able to pretty much sign off this trip in a place that I love so much. And as I said, we'll be back for a residency this year. June, July, September and October. 15 riders at a time. There we go. Pull into the village, take a right, and then that's it, we're on the 621. Down into Potes. <laughs> here we go. It is nice to be here by myself. All right, and 621. This is a stunning road to ride. In the summer when it's dry, you can really have a stink on. It's amazing. The views are amazing. The roads are amazing. This is probably the steadiest and calmest I've ridden this road ever. <laughs> and one I've ridden many, many times. road to Cain. We'll see you soon. Where are all the people? This is something that knocks me for six every single time we come. It's always deserted. Snow on the top. Go and see the bear. there were nobody up here when we get there. It's nice to see the snow on the top. I've never never seen it up here with the snow. I'm glad there's no snow on the ground, let me tell you. But it's nice to see it at the top of the mountains. I love this place so much. Hey, hey, oh, you can see it. Oh. Good afternoon, you beauty. Look at the snow on the top. 
Yeah. Oh, mama. First time I've got off the bike this morning. Couple with the DSLR. God, it's cold. It can sometimes be cold up here in summer. Up this bit because it's so high. What are we at? 5,500 feet. Go down and see the stag. <sighs> Bloody hell, it's cold. Hello, sunshine, trying to break through the cloud there. See you in the summer. I've been lucky, really, not to have any snow here. Someone's giving me a break. looking for traffic. Why am I looking for traffic? There's no one here. I can take my time, I can do whatever I want because there's not a single person on this road. Look. Polished back where everyone keeps getting on him. Wild bad. Oh, I just realised Keith's never been here, has he? What a lovely sign off to this trip to be up here. Still checking traffic. That's nice with the sky behind. That's lovely actually. Oh, mega. Mega. Let him know I appreciate him. Hello pal. We'll see you in the summer, okay? Hope you're alright up here all on your own. No one's been here to polish your back all winter, have they? Hey mate, hey. We'll see you in the summer. Good lad. It is bitingly cold up here today. That wind is... I'm very grateful for my heated clobber, let me tell you. See you soon, boy. I wonder if we'll see another car all the way down. Oh, it's just me and you. I've got this whole ribbon of tarmac to myself. It's weird um, just having all this to myself. Normally you have to really be dialed in on here because there's people up and down it because it's a, it's a great riding road, you know. It's just like, um, I can just enjoy all of it. Now we're out of the clouds. We dropped a thousand feet in like no time at all. I think I'm going to go and fill up in Ojero, where we always fill up. But before I go to the hotel, I might want to have a bit of a play around. I'll have a ride up to the cable car, see what that's looking like. I thought it'll be running, but I might have a ride up anyway. Oh, I could even have a ride up the trail. 
from the cable car area. See what it's like up there. Not a single person on it. This is bizarre. You never ever ever get this road to yourself. Fotes! Yeah, look where we are! <laughs> Infantado should be shut down, I think. Closed. So, yeah. Closed. Cerrado. The hotel I've got is just past this petrol station. Never been to it before, but it's the only one available. It looks quite nice, actually. But... Hola. Hola, buenos días. Perfecto, gracias. Okay. Yeah. Gracias. The place is absolutely deserted. I've just had the N621 almost from Riano to here by myself. And now back at our favorite petrol station in Ojedo. Infantado is shut down for the winter. Mega ride today, all the way from Salamanca, back roads the whole way. It's been freezing and I've been right up in the clouds, so it's been wet. Uh, the N621 dried out about halfway down once I dropped out of the clouds. Amazing to be up there and amazing to be here by myself. Feels weird to be here by myself, because uh, I've never been here by myself. And I've usually got you know a car park full of you to keep me company. It's been brilliant. And, and what a nice way to end this amazing trip. It's a place that I love so much. Bike's looking like it's been on a trip now. Bike's been mega, absolutely mega. Absolutely mega. Desperate for a clean though. I'll tot up the miles when I get home, but it's a lot. I've not, I've not, because I'm still in kilometers, I'm trying my best not to keep tabs or pay attention to it, but I know it's a lot. So I'll let you know um, as soon as I get home. But tomorrow morning, from here to the ferry, it's about two and a half hours. The ferry's at one o'clock. So I'm gonna have a steady run there in the morning. And yeah, this is it, done. Look, it's all just deserted. Kids coming from school. Let's have a quick look up here. Where does this go to?
couple of dogs chasing me. 